Alright, I'm going to show you how to use your dish remote as your Roku remote. Now, the reason why that's that's a big deal is because Roku ain't on the list of the of the uh, of the brand names that Dish can uh, Dish can control. Roku did not come with it. Roku doesn't have a code. So I got your back. All right, you just gotta do an extra setting. That's all. First, you use the regular setting to to program devices. You can choose uh, either DVD or AUX, whatever one you want. Choose DVD, and the Roku ain't even a DVD player. <laughs> For the code, the three-digit code, since Roku didn't come with one, you can use any three-digit code, followed by pound. There. Now, if Roku did come with it, we would have been done right there. That's all you need to do. Since Roku is not part of the list, we got to do one more setting, and that's this. You're going to have to hold on to DVD again until it lights up. Alright. Now, you're going to press recall. And then you're going to hold on to record until uh, til that red light comes on. Now, the red light is going to stay on. It's listening. It's listening to a command. Alright. Play. On the Roku remote, you hold down play. And just read that command on your dish remote I press fast forward on your ro Roku <clears throat> press and hold fast forward it read that command you see on your dish remote rewind on your Roku remote hold down rewind the dish reads it alright <clears throat> on your dish uh, select on your Roku remote select Alright, you don't want to do your arrows, arrow right, arrow right, get read it, you just do every, every single button, uh, to where uh, your, dish, your whole dish remote is going to mock your Roku remote, every button that, Roku sending all its buttons right into the dish remote, simple as that, just not many people know about that. So when you come into a problem like uh, like Roku not coming coming on the list, uh, what we're doing is putting it on the list, all right, manually. Um, here, uh, pause. You gotta do pause too. On the Roku, pause and play is the same. So that's how it's gonna act on the dish. Pause and play will be the same. Mind. Uh, while you're doing this, it's always good to do each command twice. It's like double checking, and it really helps. I'm gonna Roku, hold down home. I right, just programmed home. I'll do that again. Uh, it's like a double check feature. And another, uh, another little secret about this is, um, is this. We're gonna hit this little button down here. Now it don't it don't matter what button you use because on the Roku it's got a it's got a Netflix button that brings you right to the Netflix. And uh the dish remote don't have a Netflix button, alright? So that's what I'm about to introduce to you that you can use any button you want on your dish remote. Alright, we're gonna repeat that step. That's the Netflix button. Boom. Netflix. I'll show you one more time. Down there, I'm gonna hit this. On your dish remote, you can choose any button you want. On your Roku, the Netflix shortcut button, bam. It also has a Pandora button. I'm gonna use it right next to it. All right. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna send the Pandora into it. That's gonna be a Pandora shortcut. And this is the Crackle shortcut. Crackle shortcut. Bam. Uh, let's do uh, let's do play one more time. Always double checking is good. Alright, here's one I forgot. Um, info. Info. On your Roku remote, it's a star. Alright, let's do info again. 
For home, I'm using the menu button on the dish. You can use any button you want. I just felt that menu would be appropriate. Alright, recall on on the dish. Recall will be back on the Roku. The back button. That's just what I chose. You can choose anything you want. So when I press recall, it's gonna go back. So you're just teaching it all the uh, all the different things. And then when you're done, hit that. And hopefully it read all the commands. Sometimes it don't. I'm really pissed if my tutorial's fucked up. Alright. There's uh there's Roku. There's the dish remote. And we're gonna use this bad Larry to browse to the Roku. So a closer look for you. Now mind you. Using the dish remote. Dish remote is now your Roku remote. The home button, we said it was guide, right? Guide. The guide button is the home button. Works. Let's go over. Alright. Roll to Hulu. And uh, the star button on your on your Roku remote. We said on the dish we're going to use info, right? There it is. Info. So I'm, I'm just assuring you that all the Roku buttons now work. Oh yeah, the Netflix shortcuts and stuff. We said at the bottom, Netflix, Pandora, Crackle, right? Pandora, Pandora's in the middle. Yes, it is. And this is this is what I mean, man. Roku did not come with the dish. So what we did is we sent every single button into the dish and made one. Pretty much. Something like that. This is the Netflix uh Netflix shortcut. Everything works smoothly. I'm not gonna stop this record this tutorial until I see that every button works, okay? Recall I said was back. Right. Okay. So far, everything works. All right. Last, I think. Crackle. Uh, here's crackle. There we go. Now, there's one more, f one more thing I want to make sure. I want to make sure this tutorial is 100% for you guys. So, that's the playing, playing uh, fast forward and stuff. Let's make sure that works. Just to assure you, I'm not cheating. I don't have the Roku. Actually, the, the Roku mode's been sitting there the whole time. Alright. Alright. Let's try pausing it. There. Let's try playing it. Awesome. Okay. Fast forward. Okay, it was it was fast forward by the way. It's actually not the remotes, my uh, my network, but uh, recall to get out of there. So everything works just fine. Press home. Home. All right. So that. There we go. This. You go out in trash. You use this. Fuck. Thank you guys. Uh, let me know what you think.